Today is a special day. You know why? Today I'm applying for my master's degree in marketing at Vienna University of Business and Economics. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of how I'm applying for my master's degree and also give you a few reasons why I chose these specific masters to which I'm applying at Vienna University of Business and Economics. Let's start with the reasons why I'm considering taking my master's in Vienna. First things first, I'm studying bachelor's in business and economics at this university. And I already know the academic landscape here pretty good. I know how the university works and I really enjoy studying studying here, since everything is very modern and high quality here. We have some really good professors from the best schools in the world. You also have modern study rooms that you can book whenever you want and focus on your own stuff, not being disturbed by other people who are in the library. And also, I'll be finished with my bachelor's in the next six to nine months, so I'll be ready to move on. The second reasons why I'm applying to masters only at this university are the really good academic programs. We have some really good masters programs that are widely considered as some of the best in the world. The two specific ones that I'm considering applying for are the masters in marketing and the masters in digital economy. You can apply here up to three different masters programs. And here are the reasons why I'm considering these two. Let's start with the masters in marketing. A feature that really interests me about this program is its ranking. It's considered to be in the top 10 best marketing master's degree in the whole world, according to QS. It also fits my interest. I'm just a marketing guy. And it has interested me very much since I was very young. And I also have been working in marketing since I was 17. Everything from marketing management to marketing campaigns and even social media and other stuff as well. For a brief period of time, I was even considering taking master's degree in marketing somewhere in the US. However, I didn't really find anything that would interest me so much. The program here in Vienna looks way better and also it's offered at a way better price, better set for free. Additionally, we have some really good professors here and they make studying so much more fun and enjoying. Just last semester, I had one professor who was teaching me B2B sales and I can really say that that was one of my most favorite classes here so far. He has a postdoctoral degree from MIT Sloan School of Management and he's one of the best guys in the world in his field. Cheers to you if you're watching this video. Okay, let's break up the program into different parts. Here we can see the official website of the program. You can find the link down below in case you want to check it out yourself. If you go back to the main marketing panel with all the degrees, you can also download the program brochure that shows you in-depth descriptions of all the different program parts. The reason why I like it so much is that it seems to go very much in depth. You learn everything from quantitative methods, qualitative methods, and even go deeper to sales. After completing the initial part of the program, you will have the option to specialize in whatever interests you the most. There are three different specializations that you can choose from. The first one is current challenges in digital marketing. The second one is marketing for a better world. And the third one is advanced topics in marketing. There is also an option for you to complete an exchange semester. Guys, I really think that this is one of the best features of the program in general. Current Currently, my classmates from the bachelor's degree are all over the world. I really mean it. They are in Australia, New Zealand, China, Singapore, Japan, all over the Europe, and even on some of the best colleges in the US, such as the University of Southern California, University of California in San Diego, University of Florida, and everything in between. The best part is that the university pays for your tuition, and you can even get certain grants and scholarships, which means that studying abroad can be very cheap for you, and you don't need to pay expensive tuitions that local students pay. But just for your info, you'll need a really good GPA to get into those exchange semesters. So be sure to keep up your grades high if this is your goal. Additionally, for the best students, there is also an option to complete a double degree with the University of Bocconi in Milan, Italy, which many consider to be one of the best business universities in Europe as well. However, just to let you know, getting into the double degree program is very hard and competitive, as there are only five spots available, and many students you will be competing against have perfect 4.0 GPAs. All in all, this marketing degree will be my first priority. Just to better explain, when applying for multiple master's degree at the VU, you need to choose your priorities. This means that the digital economy program will be my second priority. Great, so let's dig deeper into this degree as well. Again, if you go to the main page, you can find a program brochure there as well, in which everything is explained. Let's go through it together. At the top, you'll find just some basic information. And down below, you'll again find the program structure. The reason why this program interests me so much is that it's so relevant to the current state of the world. It's focused on IT and computer science, but from a business perspective. And from the brochure, you can read that it will prepare you for a career in the digital business ecosystem, either as a digital digital business founder, IT consultant, or something similar. In the current state of digitalization, I think you won't make a bad bet if you go for this program. You again have three specializations you can choose from in this program. Information systems, digital law and economics, and digital strategy, marketing and transformation. The drawback of this program compared to the marketing masters is that you don't get to do an exchange semester, nor a double degree 
which is kind of a pity. That's the reason why I chose my marketing masters as my first priority. Now that we have the introduction to these programs out of the way, we can go ahead to the applications. How does that work and how can you apply to these programs? There are a few things you'll need in order to apply for these programs. Before we get into these specific requirements, I want to let you know that these requirements might vary, depending whether you have already studied at VAO before. If you're a student of the Bachelor in Business and Economics program, as I am, and a GPA lower than 2.5 on the European scale, you can apply to both of these programs with much less hustle compared to other applicants. As a BBE student, you don't have to do GMAT, provide a certificate of sufficient English, nor provide a confirmation that you have completed enough credits in the business administration course in your bachelor's program to be eligible for these masters. As a student who has an undergraduate or a bachelor's degree from a different university than VU, you need to complete your GMAT or GRE exam with a GMAT score of 500 points or higher. You need to have at least 24 ECTS from business administration and 16 ECTS from math, statistics or IT if you want to apply for the digital economy program. Or you need to have at least 45 ECTS from business administration when applying for the master's program in marketing. Then you need to have a CV and motivational letter as well. Having recommendation letters can also be a thing that can boost your chances of being accepted. I have prepared but I have prepared two recommendation letters for both of my applications. I won't get into the application requirement into depth in this video, into depth in this video, as it's really well explained on the university's website. Just in summary, the application is fully electronic, so you can do it from the comfort of your home without the need of going anywhere. The last thing that I'll mention when it comes to applications is that there are three different application periods during which you need to apply. The application deadlines for these periods are in October, January and March. This means that if you won't get accepted in the first application period, you can apply in the second or third period. It's the 1st of September here in Hawaii today and I'm applying in the first period. So I'll receive my results until December. I will keep you updated about that. I will keep you updated on that. A good point of concern for many people is also tuition. The good news is that if you're from the European Union region, you'll pay no tuition. You have heard that right. You only need to pay some student union fees that equal to something like 20 euros every semester. Which which is not for students outside the European Union. The tuition comes down to something like 700 euros per semester, which is again nothing compared to some other very expensive and not so good colleges and universities. Yeah, so that's about it. Now I just clip now I just click submit and wait until December for the admissions team to get back to me. There's also one more thing that I'd like to tell you. The thing is that even if they accept me and offer me a place inside one of those programs, I'm not completely sure whether I will enroll. The reason why I even went to uni was to escape the country of my origin, Slovakia. I was never really interested in doing some mundane job. I was always a more creative person and entrepreneurship was something that has always interested me. In fact, many successful entrepreneurs didn't even go or finish university when they started them. Both Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg dropped out of their college to pursue their visions. I also have many friends in my immediate surrounding who didn't even finish high school and were able to scale their online businesses to 50k a month and even higher on local market which is absolutely not all in all. I'm happy that I enrolled and almost completed a bachelor's degree at that university. With that being said, I'm not sure whether the opportunity cost of doing this master won't be greater than going all in into that thing that I always wanted to do. Just just a few hours ago, I got an opportunity from one of my friends who I'm staying with here in Hawaii that I can move in with him as he has multiple free rooms. I would make this my new headquarters and go all in. Go all in into creating something really awesome, creating a thing that I always wanted to create. University always felt like the next best step for me. However, now something different might be the next best step. I'll surely keep you updated. Anyways, if you're applying to masters at Vienna University of Business and Economics or otherwise VU, hope this helped you at least a little bit. And I wish you nothing less than the best of luck. Catch you in the next one. Bye.